Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you the lighting and ventilation calculator for Revit. It is based on the IPMC international standards for uh, natural lighting and ventilation. This version has many new features. Uh, first of all, it calculates the provided ventilation and lighting accurately 100%. There are options um, to include doors for lighting uh, and or ventilation calculations if you need to. And uh, there is option to suppress uh, warnings. Uh, yes, of course, the application uh, gives you notes about any uh, errors, warnings or uh, standard violations. Uh, it also gives you the element IDs for violating elements. Uh, this way, it is easier for you to uh, locate any violating uh, window or door um, using the uh, select by ID tool and uh, deal with those uh, elements accordingly. Um, the application uh, can process uh, every 500 rooms in about two to three seconds, uh, which means uh, it has very uh, fast algorithms uh, the, the new version also has uh, a progress bar for large files. Um, of course, all uh, calculated and written uh, new parameters uh, can be uh, added into schedules and uh, also arithmetic or calculated uh, values uh, can be added uh, based on them as well. As you can see, uh, all rooms in the model now don't have any um, data related to the lighting or ventilation. I'm going to run the application now and set my desired options. Boom, all data are written now. If there are any warnings or notes or violations uh, in any room, uh, they will be written in the uh, notes uh, section. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and add those uh, new values or new parameters, new fields uh, to my schedules. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the violating element IDs uh, is written as well. Uh, this way it is easy for you uh, to select uh, these elements based on uh, their ID using the select by ID tool. For example, uh, this door here doesn't have any glazing and that's why uh, it doesn't provide any uh, lighting because I chose to include doors in my lighting, cal lighting calculations. And basically this is what it tells me, couldn't recognize any glazing for door ID um, 1475, blah, I can also suppress warnings to stop the application from writing any warnings or notes uh, to rooms. Thanks and see you in the next video.